Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about Duchenne muscular dystrophy and its probability. Here's the problem. Muscular dystrophy Duchenne is recessive disease, sex link and it affects males only. Males with this anomaly gradually lose muscle mass to the point where their muscles undergo atrophy. So males affected cannot have kids. And here's the two questions. Take a look at this picture. This is progressive genetic disorder. The older boys become, the more severe this disease. And life expectancy is about 30 years old. Males that have this genetic disorder cannot have their own children because of the severity of this genetic disorder. In about 60 to 70 percent, this genetic disorder is receiving with X chromosome from the mother side. But in about 30-40 percent, this genetic disorder is due to new mutations that happens during meiosis. Let's take a look at this pedigree first. So this is X-link recessive genetic disorder. So mother has one defective X chromosome and one normal X chromosome and her phenotype is normal. And male here also has normal X and Y chromosome. As you remember, males cannot have children. This is severe genetic disorder. So we know for sure that father of this family phenotypically and genotypically normal. Every boy in this family from the father's side got Y chromosome. So let's put Y chromosome here, here and here. And from the mother's side they can get whether this defective X chromosome or this normal X chromosome. So chances are 50%. So this male got from the mother's side defective X chromosome. And next got normal X chromosome. So his phenotype is normal. And next one got defective X chromosome and this male also got defective X chromosome. As for the female, from the father side she got normal X chromosome, but from the mother side we don't know whether she got this defective X chromosome or normal X chromosome. Still her phenotype is going to be normal. Now let's return to our first question. What is the probability that a woman who has a brother with dystrophy can have kids affected by this disease. So take a look. He is a woman. She has a brother who is affected with this genetic disorder. So that means that he has defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And this brother sister has parents. And we know for sure that father have to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And mother who is phenotypically normal should have defective X chromosome. Now what is the probability that this female got this defective chromosome from her mother's side so she is a carrier. Because we know for sure that from the father's side she got normal X chromosome. She cannot get this Y chromosome otherwise she would be a male. She is a female. She got this X chromosome from the father's side. But from the mother's side she can get defective X chromosome or normal X chromosome. So her chances to get defective X chromosome would be 50 percent. And this is going to be an answer to the first question. Probability of this female to be a carrier 50 percent. That means that her probability to have affected children would be also 50 percent. In this type of questions we are not uh, thinking about what is probability for this woman to have a boy and that boy to be affected. The question about this woman only. About this Probant. And here is the second question. If your mother's brother has dystrophy, what is the probability that you inherit the dystrophy allele? Let's add couple people here. So here is another male and this couple have a child. And this is going to be female child. Why not male? Or why I am not using a sign which doesn't specify sex. And here is a sign for the child of non-specific sex why I choose to use female sign here. And this is going to be our new probant because for male such question doesn't make any sense because we know right away that males very early in their life would be affected and we would see it. So such question only female may ask. What is her probability to be a carrier of this 
defective X chromosome. Take a look, we know that her father is phenotypically and genotypically normal and again her probability to inherit defective allele from her mother's side is going to be 50%. So probability for her mother to be a carrier 50% and probability to give this defective allele to her daughter also is going to be 50%. So one half times one half is going to be one quarter. And this is going to be an answer to the second question. One more time. If your mother's brother, your mother's brother has dystrophy, what is the probability that you inherited the dystrophy allele? So the question is about probability of being a carrier, not to be affected, but inherit dystrophy allele. For boys, this question meaningless, but for girls, it does make sense, and here's the probability. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video.